Good morning students. Today we are going to discuss an important topic in chemistry that is a, a book review. First of all we are going to see the what is the book. This is the book we are going to review today. The name of the book is Inorganic Qualitative Analysis. Okay that is the title of the book for JWE advanced and main and boards. Now we are going to see the authors. The author of the book is Dr. Deepak Joshi. It is one of the important names in the field of inorganic chemistry. Okay. Then we are going to see the publication. The book was published by the Kisab publication. Okay. It is also a famous one for the in the field of NEET and JWE examination preparation. Okay. Now we are going to see the contents of the books. Okay. Contents. Okay. The contents are 11 chapters. Chapter 1, Chapter 2, Chapter 3, Chapter 4, Chapter 5, Chapter 6, Chapter 7, and Chapter 8, and Chapter 9, and Chapter 10, and Chapter 11. Okay. The last chapter is reagents. Okay. The first one is types of reactions. Chapter 2 is analysis of acid radicals. Chapter 3 is analysis of basic reagents. Okay. Now we are going to see the chapters 1, 2, 3. Okay. Now we are going to see. Okay. Follow me. Then in the first chapter we are going to see them types of reactions okay in this chapter the book contains uh, what's in the compounds acids bases salt and qualitative analysis and what are the types of reactions those are involved in the inorganic chemistry okay they give them various types of reactions those are not in the inorganic chemistry then they give the redox reactions also then they give the electrochemical series and what are the types of ions especially negative ions those are not in the inorganic chemistry and also all the reactions are given the step by step manner with the complete explanation okay Okay, this is the end of the first chapter. There is no question at all. Then, we are going to see the same chapter that is the analysis of the acid radicals. First of all, they give them what's going to be acid radicals and what are the types of acid radicals. So, I learned that after reading these books, I always also know that the acid radicals are also classified into group E and group E. Okay, the group E and group E acid radicals are also given. Okay. Okay. All the acid radicals and the, the test for the conformity are completely given with the proper explanation. Then we are going to come to the important topic of the, this book that is the analysis of the basic radicals. Okay. Here they give the, what are the groups of the important radicals and reagents. Then They explain the each and every groups. Then at the end of the chapters, they give the questions. Okay. That is the passage based questions. First of all, they are given. Okay. For the paragraph 1 and 2 and 3. Then first group. Okay. This is a very nice book. In this book, all the chapters are explained thoroughly and completely without omitting any ideas, all the ideas are given very very in a clear manner. Okay. Now, we see the what is the total number of the pages of the, this book. This book contains the 188 pages. Okay. Okay. This book was presented in the long form. Also, 188 pages is very much enough. Okay. Then, we come to the Conclusion, why should we 
buy these books okay what should we are going to buy the books that is very very important okay now we are going to see the advantages of these books okay first of all this book is ideally fitted for the jw neat and olympia id preparing students okay the contents of the books first group second group third group fourth group fifth group and sixth group are rich vast and detailed explained okay then let us come to the each and every chapter each chapter provides a detailed theory and also all the reaction and reasons are involved then the contents involve the all the chemical reactions those are not in the inorganic chemistry then at the end of the chapter a lot of multiple choice questions are given to evaluate our understanding then it is a very very one of the best book i think that after reading this book if you want to study the s block elements p block elements or d block elements f block elements you will understand the inorganic chemistry in the entirely different level simple sets here pakka mass okay therefore i would like to recommend all the students to buy this book and to use the books after reading this book you are going to read the any inorganic chemistry textbook then your understanding is in a very high level and clear level so so students so buy the book read the book use the book and score the high marks in the neat and jw examinations okay congratulations all the best